One of the ways to know that a father of faith is about to exit, check the language of their words. One month after Dr. Miles Monroe would die, what was he talking about? The benefit of death and going to the grave empty. Bishop Benson is the house of blessed memory. The last sermon he preached was tied to the benefit of death. A sign of spiritual maturity is in your ability to identify this new season or new levels and being able to transit into them. So you must have an understanding of the times. You need to know the language of your work with God. When I'm about to change levels, what are those things I usually see? Many of you, many of you have gone through these things again and again, but you've not kept track of them. And that's the reason why every time you're about to transit, you are always looking like a kindergarten student. It's like you are holding a certificate in the school of the spirit that you can't defend because you didn't take cognizance of these signs. And that's why when you should be praising God, you are cursing God. For you to be spiritually matured, you must understand these times and seasons. Two people that understood this about their life. Number one was Paul the Apostle in 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 6 to 7. Paul said, I'm about to be poured out as a drink offering and the time of my departure is at hand. That was a, a polite way of saying I'm about to die. And then he said, I fought the good fight. I finished the race. I've kept the faith. As Paul got closer to his execution, he knew in his spirit that he had finished his assignment on earth and that this death was going to be a worthy exit for him. He had gone through a lot of tribulations and sufferings for the sake of Jesus that he understood that every time God was about to promote him every time he was about to transit those seasons will be marked with a lot of sufferings and oppositions another person that understood it was was Peter remember in John chapter 21 Jesus told Peter in verse 18 to 19 Jesus told him when you were young you were used to going where you please he said but as you grow older somebody will take you by the hand and lead you where you do not want and the bible says this jesus spoke signifying the death that peter would die to glorify god how do you glorify god in pain but jesus had given him the blueprint long ago and so in second peter chapter 1 from verse 13 to 15 peter began to speak knowing fully well that his time of departure was at hand he said yes i think it is right as long as I am in this tent, it was his body he was calling tent to steer you up by reminding you. As at this time he was already in prison, knowing that shortly I must put off my tent, just as our Lord Jesus Christ had showed me. He remembered what Jesus told him at John in John chapter 21. He said, Moreover, I will be careful to ensure that you always have a reminder of these things after my decease let me do this as a this as you know um an aside this is not part of my teaching but you see one of the ways to know that a father of faith is about to exit check the language of their words when you begin to see somebody repenting of mistakes that they made a long time ago that has brought other younger ministers into error they're about to leave one month after Dr. Miles Monroe would die, I watched a video of him. What was he talking about? The benefit of death and going to the grave empty. He said, when you go to the grave, make sure you don't go with anything. Make sure you empty yourself. As if we knew that one month later, he was going to die. Archbishop Benson, the house of blessed memory, the last sermon he preached was tied to the benefit of death. So, as you mature spiritually, you begin to know and understand the signs towards your transition. So that when people are crying because of the signs, you will be laughing inside of you because you know these are just signs. Jesus calls them the, 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 the bed pangs of labor. He labor bed pangs. What you are seeing is just this sign. What you are not seeing is the glory that is about to be revealed. That's why the Bible says, I reckon that the, the sufferings of now are not worthy to be compared to the glory that is about to be revealed.